got your boy Drew's Views here, back for Car Tuesday, reacting to a cartoon on Tuesday. And of course, I'm back with Steven Universe Season 1. Today, I'm up to episode 45 and 46. A lot of big things happening in the verse here. A uh, couple of big developments last time. By the way, a lot of planes seem to be flying overhead today. I don't know what's going on. I live kind of close to an airport, but it seems like, I don't know, there's a ton of plane noise so far. So hopefully it won't affect this video too much with the noise level, but just to give you a heads up, it seems to be the case. But anyway, last time on, with episode 43 and 44, uh, we had, well, in the first one, uh, was uh, Greg was trying to clean up his old storage unit there and got a little help from Amethyst, but was it help? No. It was a slacking off watching Lil Butler. And uh, we learned a little bit of the backstory between these two. They're not so good for each other necessarily here. It had happened before in the past, I guess. And then they had a falling out and they kind of forgot about it and then got back in with it. But Amethyst kind of was stepping over the line a bit there. And she did apologize at the end of the episode and everything like that. But she was turning into uh, Steven. She was turning into Greg himself. Then what really crossed the line, she turned into to Rose Quartz. And by turning in, I mean, you know, doing her shapeshift thing uh, to really terrorize Greg. So that was not cool. And Steven was watching, which she didn't realize. And when she saw that happen, she felt bad, obviously. But I don't know. Amethyst lately, in the past few episodes, has been uh, having some issues. But then the big development was, in the second episode, we saw the reappearance of Peridot, um, this green gem, she is, well, Steven revealed himself to her. It was pretty funny when she's saying, what, is the earth overrun by Stevens now? So she doesn't exactly know what humans are, I guess, or doesn't have a great grasp, but she was back at that kindergarten. Um, and you know, the, the gems, the uh, crystal gems, which I guess I just kind of realized for real last time that, or it, it was cemented to me last time that the three, you know, Amethyst, Pearl, and Garnet are like the crystal gems. So that's like their team name or whatever. Um, they revealed themselves after Steven said, you know, wanted to do it his way by following the, it was called Marvel Madness episode, so I, I guess those are like the little marble things, the little robot things, whatever they are, followed it, and then, uh, that led to that confrontation, and they didn't want him to talk to her, but he did. Was it a good thing, ultimately? Yet, yet to be seen, because it does seem like there's the planes. This could cause trouble for the crystal gems and Earth as itself. It seems like the gems from space are against Earth or they want to take it over or they've tried to do it in the past or whatnot. A little unclear on the timeline too. They said like something like 6,000 years ago something happened. So that was before a lot of society was on Earth obviously but, or the same type as it is now. But but anyway, um, I had the theory that you know Peridot might be bringing back reinforcements or something to have some type of war situation on Earth here. I don't know. It doesn't seem like she is like super high up or anything based on like context clues so far. It seems like she's like kind of like a mechanic or something like trying to fix these portals and whatnot. And she's never heard of the, the crystal gems and all this. So I don't, I don't think she's like any position of power. It doesn't seem like, but we'll see. And will she be in this episode? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, or these, these two pack of episodes want to see this plot keep moving and there's some comments and stuff you know saying um this is where the plot's really picking up or the, the show's really picking up and it's all things like that so rose's scabbard all right so this is gonna be a rose based episode cool scabbard that's where the sword goes into like a sheath hmm. every weapon here Got was him. left by a gem over five thousand years ago five thousand years ago okay so it's that's a thousand years past when the the number we got last time for the kindergarten thing. Lion, come help me look. Oh, come on. You really need to train that thing better. Lion. <laughs> hey, lion. Lion. Lion does what he wants. Lion. lion. Always has. Uh, sometimes. But he usually knows what to do and what's going on. That's the scabbard for Rose's sword. <laughs> That's the episode title. Shoo, shoo. Mom fought here? That's right. And I fought alongside her. Man, I wish uh, I could have seen it. I do too, Emma. This don't want to flash back Countless to that gems battle. were broken here. It was a maelstrom of destruction and death. But we won! Pearl, I like you. 
We chose to fight alongside Rose, and here we made our stand against our whole world. So is Rose the leader? I know she's the leader of the Crystal Gems, but it's been ages. What, what is it, Stephen? What was Mom like? Courageous and brilliant and beautiful. Sometimes you look so much like her. If anything tries to eat me, I'll pop him with this. That's just the scabbard, Stephen. It held Where's your mother's sword? sword. Can you keep a secret? A secret? I don't think he can. Even to Garnet and Amethyst, Rose had a place that she kept hidden from all but me. Now it's just a three-hour hike that way, followed by a vertical climb at 90 degrees. Think you can handle it? <laughs> I was your mother's sole confidant. I was there to listen. Seems like Pearl's borderline in love with her. She own. had to, Stephen. It's the mark of a great leader. Knowing just what to keep hidden from everyone you're trying to protect. Everyone except me. <laughs> Secret armory. Whoa. I've been here before. That face huh? is scary, Pearl. You must be thinking of someplace else. I'm the only other crystal gem who's ever witnessed the armory's magnificence before now. Uh-uh. Lion showed me. Oh, uh, Lion took him in that one episode, yeah. Lion 2, I think, was the episode. I can do it without you. Wham! We got some axes. The axes of ages? Woo! We got spiky chain lady and her metal dealies. The heretics anguish. We got a uh, three pack of laser light cannons. The core design trio. That was the name of an episode, I think. What were we looking for? A sword. Her sword. Your mother's sword. Oh, I know where that is. Huh? Da -da 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 da 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 Here it is. Rose's sword. How did it get in there? Ta -da! But how? <laughs> Interesting that Pearl didn't know Does about Lion this. Does Lion have something to do with Rose? We learned this episodes ago, guys. That's why he's pink. It's a little obvious. <laughs> no, Rose didn't have a lion. Because if Rose had a lion, I would have known about it. Rose kept many things secret, even from us. But not from me. None of you had what we had. She probably just wanted to protect you like everyone else. What do you know? You've never even met her. Good catch. Fine, go! Go cry about it. Where'd she go? To go cry about it, it seems like. Do you know where she went? Pearl? I don't think she wants to see the leave lion. Leave me right now. alone! I would just leave her alone, but. Oh, wait for me! You better sit this one out, lion. <laughs> Pretty good hops on Steven this here. Is really hard to do in sandals. <laughs> I would say, and you need to get some better footwear, Steven. Them nerdy sandals. How are we doing that? Okay. So. Oh, I kind of wish the flip flops would have fallen off. Get rid of them things for good. Pearl, you have to tell me what's wrong. Sometimes you even sound like her. We were right here. Over 5,000 years ago. I'm going to stay and fight for this planet. You don't have to do this with me. But I want to. I know you do. Please, please understand. If we lose, we'll be killed. And if we win, we can never go home. Why would I ever want to go home if you're here? My Pearl, you're wonderful. Everything I ever did, I did for her. Now she's gone. But I'm still here. Oh, what would she think of me now? I think you're pretty great. Oh. Poor 
dab it out of there too. is scabbard so a pearl episode for sure there um very interesting so i don't know it seems like i mean pearl obviously has a very romanticized uh memory of rose and their relationship um it definitely seemed to go beyond just like standard protege you know boss proteges type of thing um you know she, obviously, she was fighting alongside uh, her in this war, which is also interesting. I kind of pointed it out, but they said 5,000 years ago there was some big war on Earth, uh, presumably there, right? Um, or maybe not. I don't. I can't remember now from the beginning of the episode if they were on Earth when they got the scabbard or somewhere else. But, but the kindergarten thing they mentioned was 6,000 years ago last time. So the timeline's coming together a little bit here. And it is interesting that, you know, they thousands and thousands of years and then what maybe 12 however long many years ago an infinitesimal amount in these gems lifespans that's when rose met greg i guess and one when steven was born so that you know still still a lot to come out in terms of that but pearl didn't know about lion i guess which is interesting and it's also what triggered her kind of depression there or you know whatever you want to call it and yeah, it's good steven uh, you know predictable but good steven would cheer her up and then she would come around. When I say romanticized, I don't necessarily mean like a romantic, I guess, relationship, even though she's kind of acting like that, but I think more just like, she clearly like idolized her and thought they had a, a special relationship above anyone else, including Garnet and whoever else. Um, so yeah, I guess I could see that it's tough for her to be constantly reminded of things when when Steven's around and reminding of her, all, uh, of Rose all the time, but, uh, yeah, it's a good episode. I, I want to see, I've been mentioned a couple of times now, it'd be interesting to see flashbacks, and when we get them, they're kind of not, like, tradi you know, with the videotape thing, um, and then this time, you know, when Pearl has her memory thing, she can kind of literally conjure Rose, um, even last episode with Amethyst turning into her, like, all this, all these things we get from Rose are, like, they're kind of flashback-ish, but they're, they're more memories just done in a different fashion um i don't know if we are ever gonna get it but I, I do think it would be cool to see like a literal flashback like whole episode maybe like to this war where pearl and rose are fighting side by side that'd be cool but who knows if we'll get it but um and then with the sword itself you know it was more just the catalyst to get the episode going but i wonder if it will come you know it, it might have something in the future you know some utility Steven maybe wielding it or something like that and I mean they might be kind of setting up for a new war coming here In fact, I think they might be with this whole paradox issue Like I said, she might bring her enforcements back knowing what's going on, on earth now. So um, maybe we'll see uh, Something, you know, some kind of redux of what happened 5,000 years ago We shall see but I'm excited to continue on to the next one here All right, let's see what we got next Open book, all right. Is this the series that Connie was getting them into last time? I think it must be. So we're in an order now. Ahem. So, what did you think of the ending? I thought it was a disaster. Oh. They seem to be taking on and subverting these witch tropes. Really self-aware about being a pastiche, you know? Um. But in the end, none of that even mattered. And her falcon turns into a human and they get married? It completely dropped all the anti-authoritarian stuff and described a wedding cake for 50 pages. Yeah, that cake was worthy of 20 pages, tops. The publisher put pressure on the author to water down the end for a larger audience appeal. Real world can't always win against the iron chains of authority. <sighs> I wish I could give you a new ending. You probably can in some magical way, huh? The temple door, it opened for me. I can make us a new ending. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Well, lucky Connie's friends with Steven. Otherwise, she'd just probably go be posting on Tumblr about cool. this or something. This is my mom's room. I can control it. Oh, Rose's room? Okay. Right, she, he can do anything he wants in here, kind of. 
But last time he overextended things for the world, but... We can make anything. Anything? How about the Infinity Fair from Book 4? With merchants from a million lands selling goods from cultures long gone and yet to be. We should probably keep it simple. What really matters are the characters. You Let's should be our favorite. Right okay. Room, I want to be a falcon! Oh. I guess the room only makes stuff when I want it. Why don't you just have it make a costume shop? Oh, yeah, good idea. This place is everything, even a childhood tunic. Well, what if she never lost her iron sword? Whoa. Just looks like Steven has blonde hair now. Like the dragon whisker boots from the volcano stuff in book three. Oh, you look awesome. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. I, I don't know, what do you think? Hmm, what do you think? Uh, we can start a business together and sell... Uh, sell... turkey legs to make money to help out our fellow rebel comrades. Yeah, that's great. This is their big climactic ending they wanted? I don't think so. What should our next move be as business partners? You tell me. Yeah? Oh, um, let's feed the wind lizard. He ate the bones! Okay! Is that a reference to those KFC commercials they had for a while? But these are, uh, free-range turkeys, and they didn't listen to anybody, and that's what we're gonna do. And they attack us. Jeez, these guys are corrupt. What do you think we should do? C come on, I'm really trying here. Yeah, How do you want the story ideas? to end? This isn't really like you. I... I don't want you to just do what I want. Do what you want? Connie, are, are you alright? I want what you want? What you want, 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 want. Is this not the real Connie? I want to see you. No, 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 no! I'm done! I'm done playing! Alright, anti-authority. Why didn't you disappear with everything else? You told me not to do what you wanted. Uh-oh. Catch-22. Connie? C connie Is that you? But how does he know it's the Please real one or go. not? Or he just keeps I want to find the real Connie. You told me you wanted. It doesn't matter. I don't want you to follow Maybe the real me. Connie's gonna have to kill herself here. Uh, uh, oh, wind lizard. that's creepy. Uh, the way she was just running reminded me of something, but I can't put my finger on what it was. Just a little bit further. Uh, 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 uh. Please, I don't want you. I want the real Connie. I know how you really feel, Steven. Ah, oh, Steven, finally, there you are. Uh, help! Is that implying you want to marry her in the wedding dress? So she didn't kill herself? I know you like her. Uh -oh. And I this know you awkward. want her to like you too. No, don't listen! You want to tell her! No! Get off him! Tell her, Steven! I... Uh, tell uh, her! I like the ending of the book! Uh oh Okay. What? I... I... I thought it was sweet you that Lisa and Archimaker got together in the end. And I loved every page about the cake. I wanted to draw a picture of it. I'm, I'm sorry I pretended not to like it. I just... I just didn't want you to think less of me. <sighs> That's better. <laughs> Do you think I'm a bad person for liking the ending? Of course not. I... Steven, it's just a book. But you really care about it. I care about you more. Even though I like the wedding? Oh, of course you like the wedding. You're Steven. You love schmaltz. He does? No, she almost fell into the volcano. He was worried about her. But she had access to frost spells. Yeah, but Archimigris didn't know that. Even birds can fall in love. I guess you could read it that way. Alright, so 
that, uh, yeah, so that episode certainly didn't uh, pr push the plot forward or anything. A, a character episode, I would still like to see the, you know, what's going on with the Peridot situation, but, you know, I think there's uh, six more episodes left after this in the season, so maybe the season wraps up with something like that. As far as this one goes, a little switcheroo there, or, you know, the little, um, little, uh, subversion of expectations. So it had me going there, too, you know, with her in a wedding dress, you're thinking, oh, it's just Stephen really likes her, but no, it's just that he liked the ending in the book and didn't want to. And I, I could see why he would lie to her about liking it when she's so intense about the series and all that and spouting off all the big words and that he doesn't understand and, you know, all the, um... And you know what, actually, this, I think this episode was actually pretty clever because with that subversion that I didn't necessarily see coming, I like that. But also, the book uh, itself, you know, kind of foreshadowed what was going to happen, even though I didn't pick up on it. How the book ended was kind of, or the series ended, how they described it was kind of a subversion because Connie thought, well, she was saying all the things. Now, I also don't know if it was based on a real book series or just a general, these type of general fantasy YA books, um, maybe it's, maybe what she was describing is based on something specific the writer had in mind or is referencing, I don't know what it is, but it's averted her expectations, how it, it went to the schmaltzy ending or the, like this, the typical ending. And she was saying that it's because pressure put on by a publisher or something to have the conventional ending. But if it's all built up in a certain way, that's unconventional and then it flips at the end to being convention, then that's subversion. So that's also kind of what happened in uh, typically in shows you're seeing storylines like this now it's not always like a magical thing or su or supernatural or whatever but there's a lot of plot lines where a character likes another character then they're forced in some way to admit it to that person when they don't necessarily want to or something happens that gets them to and so again that's where you would think it was going and that's where i think i was supposed to think it was going and then no it's just what happened so yeah, so I like that. I mean, the first episode I watched in this one, definitely with the superior episode, but, or, you know, it was more emotional, it was more moving the storyline, it was more what I was looking for, but uh, th this one was good, too. I, I really do like Connie as a character, and I like Pearl a lot, for that matter, too. I would say Pearl is my favorite um, of the Crystal Gems, at least so far. I, I often find her the funniest. I know Amethyst is the more goofy, stereotypically, I guess, character comedy character but um of the, the archetype that like pearl is i i do like that um the kind of uptight one who's you know taking things seriously but still leads for a lot of comedy even though it wasn't in this particular episode from this time it was more drama but um but i like her a lot and yeah uh, connie like i said is a, is a really good character too um and she's been getting a lot of play lately a lot of episodes so it seems like a connie episode every or one dealing with her a lot like every other episode now so yeah pretty good stuff i'll be back next week for let's see 47 and 48 look out for that one please do subscribe if you're not and you uh, like watching these videos a couple people have hit me up saying you know they, they're caught up on the, re the reactions now so love to see that and now if you be on week to week things like that it should be coming out every tuesday as the plane's going by here unbelievable with these plans but anyway, uh, look out for that. Like I said, subscribe, leave me a comment, do whatever you like, and uh, I'll be back next time for some more Steven Universe Season 1, The Verse. And until then, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>